What's up everyone, this is Sam from 64 Wheels, back on more diecast, and today we're going to be opening up four 2023 Hot Wheels Monster Truck 2 packs. So these are packs that come with the Monster Truck and Hot Wheels unique diecast crushed car castings. These castings are really cool. I've done videos on some previous releases, but I'm really excited to open these up for a couple different reasons, so let's get into it. Okay, for 2023, Hot Wheels has re-released this line of die-cast crushed cars. This is an excellent line. Each of these castings is really unique and special. But before we open these, I want to talk a little bit about the line and then the price point because both are important. So back in 2020, Hot Wheels released a line of four different die-cast crushed car castings that came in these special Monster Truck 2 packs. Um, they had a different body style for each one. So the van is blindsided, sudden stop is the sedan, flat iron is the wagon and speed bump is the coupe now back in 2020 this had never been done before um what most monster truck crush car releases look like were these like plastic ones or they had different fold out ones back in the 90s they also did the bigfoot uh, aluminum foil style cars but no one had ever done an actual like mainline style die cast crush car so it was a big deal that hot wheels released these um and if you remember back in 2020 things were a little wild um so distribution of the first line was a little crazy um the line picked up steam and now we're on probably the fifth to sixth release of some of these cars um, but they're really cool. But another thing I want to talk about is the cost. So back when they first released, they were still the same price as a single carded monster truck. So if you bought this, you could also buy this. There were no price differences back then. So uh, that was a huge deal because you're basically getting the dollar car plus the what? 399 monster truck for the 399 monster truck price so getting things at a discount or free nowadays or even back in 2020 was a big deal because things were changing the prices were going up and to this day prices are still up but at target today when i bought these this was 389 the same as a normal monster truck price with the plastic car so the die cast car has not added any price hot wheels has kept these at the same price which is mind-boggling like uh, as collectors i really appreciate that i hope other collectors do too because it is so cool that they are still doing that so um, with that being said and touching a little bit about the history and the distribution. So if you've collected this line, you might think some of these look familiar. That's because every single one of these, including the monster trucks, has been released in this exact tempo and color scheme before. Now you're saying, wait, 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 wait. These are new for 2023 because they are. The packaging is new, a little bit of the styling is new, but the cars themselves have been released before. Now, here's why I'm not mad about this. All of these castings came out in 2021 sometime. As you still know, 2021 was still a wild time for distribution, shopping, a little bit of everything. So when these first came out, I saw none of them at the store, at zero. So to me, when I saw these today, I was like, I think these are new. But then when I sit in the store and Googled it, I'm like, they are not new, but I don't have them. So I need to pick them up. So I decided to do a video on them because they are technically new and they still might be new to you because they are new to me as well. So even though they have been released before, these are new to me with the caveat of this one, which I didn't actually, I didn't remember I had this one. So this one is not new to me as well, um, but these three are. Now you'll notice I don't have the flat iron and that's because that was the very first release. I remembered it. So I was like, I don't need that one. The store did have it, but I didn't need it. So these three are really the new ones, but I'm going to open this one too, just because I have it. So while you might um, recognize these, I hope you'll follow along with the video because these are really cool castings. And if you just collect this line in general, it's cool to see these castings um, together again. So um, without further rambling, let's go ahead and get into it. So this one is, I, can't, I have a real hard time remembering the names, Blindsided. So this, or all of these cars, the crushed car castings are um taken after or modeled after re existing hot wheels licensed models so um 
This is the Dodge Tradesman van or the Custom 77 Dodge van. Um, you'll probably recognize the um, side profile and a little bit of the taillights, but they've changed them from square to circle. Same with the headlights. Uh, they changed up the style. So this is not a licensed casting, but it is based on a licensed casting. So this has a nice taxi paint job. It has like a tore up look. It's got silver markings everywhere. The crushed castings look good as ever. These are so cool. Even if you're not a monster truck fan, uh, these are so cool to collect just because they're so unique. And they're, I mean, they're crushed cars. Who actually goes out and makes a brand new ruined car? No one. Hot Wheels is basically the only people doing this right now. The only other like damaged castings that I've ever seen made are the Matchbox, Jurassic Park, the Crushed Explorer, and then... Um, Several of the NASCAR brands have like the raced versions where some of the castings are damaged. I've done videos on a Dale Earnhardt uh, car from Action that had flipped over and was like that because a lot of companies won't do castings like this because often they're used for a single casting. Like that Dale Earnhardt NASCAR is that casting. Like that is the car. They can't really use it for anything else. Same with the Explorer from Jurassic Park. They can't really use it for anything else. So companies aren't really like pumped or like psyched about doing a bunch of crushed car castings but hot wheels has capitalized on being able to do the unlicensed version and include them in their monster truck line which they look awesome so this i totally forgot the name again blindsided i'm like rambling and then i forget um blindsided the van this looks awesome it also comes with the taxi monster truck that has the taxi wheels really good looking monster truck um today we're really focusing on the crush cars but the monster trucks almost deserve their own video because they have so much detailing um they have decent tampos they are the printed style tampos but they still look pretty crisp um just because the bodies are bigger than a standard mainline so when you compare like this to that you can see just how much surface space they have so the tampos come out a little clear the monster truck logo there is a little bit you can see that one's kind of blurry but the rest of it like you can read it pretty well um they look decent especially at the price point for how much like real estate you're getting um die cast wise so these are pretty affordable and the wheels look awesome like look at those spin yay looks awesome okay so there is the first one so that's i guess that's just called taxi right okay so there's a look at the packaging, um, the background. They have like a shark. There's a couple little bit different art artworks back there, but it's cool. I like that they um, are changing up the packaging as well because the circle ones, these were so hard to stack in bins and stuff. So I'm glad we're seeing these like square ones. So next up, uh, which one is this? This is Speed Bump. So this is based on a GM 80s G body, which was the Monte Carlo Cutlass uh regal technically the grand national and what else did i already say grand prix pontiac grand prix um all of those so i believe it's more off their grand national casting so this is the i'm gonna make sure i say it right loco punk so this is like the um steampunk style train it looks like it glows in the dark i assume it would if not it does have that very like neon orange or orange neon green glow to it uh it's actually kind of a hardcore paint job especially for like a toy but um collectors seem to like these train this train to me um it looks good i think this fits it if this was a real monster truck especially on hot wheels glow tour this would be so dope i don't think it is um but i could be wrong because they introduce new trucks what i feel like is all the time so it's hard to keep up with some of that but here is speed bump so this obviously like i said these have all been released before but this is like a radioactive um danger danger so it has that like biohazard on it it's got the danger it looks like it almost has rust it has those yellow stripes scratches like that rust kind of goes all over the body or at least like scratch rust marks um again this casting is great it does have a neon green um, like chassis as well um, to match the monster truck, which I think is nice. Um, there you can kind of see, like to me, that looks very um, regal-ish or cutlass-ish. Same thing for the front. They changed up the headlights and the grill style a little bit. So you can't quite recognize it, but you can definitely tell that body is an unmistakable GMG body. So I really like this casting though. They got the classic like demolition derby style side pipes and this one um, was the latest release that they had they released it in the demo derby five pack from i think it was late last year maybe yeah late last year 
Um, it was in purple, I believe. Excellent casting. I hope they do it more. Um, there were some teasers online that say the van might be included in the next Demo Derby 5-pack, which I hope it is because these look so cool. So next up, which one is this? Sudden Stop. So Sudden Stop is modeled after a 1996 uh, Chevy Impala or Impala SS, however you prefer to say it, um, or just the Caprice. In, in reality, like if this was an actual monster truck, it like crushed car it probably would have been um a police caprice like a 9c1 or just a standard caprice uh you probably wouldn't be running over any impala ss's um at least now because they're too valuable um because they've shot up in price a little bit but this is one uh i've actually unboxed before that i found but it has a good paint job it's very like uh, to me, they do a good job of making them look real and fantasy at the same time because that's like the style paint you would see at like a demolition derby or that they would spray paint on the side of these crushed cars for the monster truck meets. But look at the detail on this casting, like all of them. They just do a really good job. Like you can even see the speakers, the seat. Um, they still have a dash. They don't have windows. Um, but like, look at that. That looks awesome. Such a great job. Like even that like little B pillar or whatever right there, the door pillar is broke off. That looks like a monster truck ran over it. Like look at that. Even has like where almost like a demolition derby where it backed up and like bent the frame or something. So this is like a multi-use casting. They they really should just kind of uh, get an actual demolition derby line too using some of these castings as a base because they look good. Like even the chassis is bent there. Like on purpose, not on accident. So got the bumper. Man, looks good. I like it. So let's open up the last one here. This is the white one. This is a new to me where I had have had that yellow one before the gold one. Um, I didn't get the flat iron. I can't remember if I mentioned that earlier. This Roger Dodger is sick. Look at that. Oh, I forgot to go over the chassis snapper. So this one um, is like the C10 style body, but it has like the turtle graphics on it. It's pretty hardcore. It's a little goofy, but I think monster trucks really embrace that goofy, like animal, monster, dinosaur, robot. Like you can kind of go crazy with monster trucks and do whatever you want. Um, and I do like that Hot Wheels is also putting their original castings like uh, Roger Dodger on here. Like look how monstrous that thing looks. That's just a sick casting. Like the blue with the red and the black, the flames. Oh, just a great, great release. So, all right. Let's see. So another sudden stop. So this one is white. It's got, again, it has like that demolition style, demolition derby style number on the side. It looks like someone threw paint at it, like paint splotches, which is awesome. It's got the Hot Wheels logo on it. It looks like some tiger stripes up front. Um, same thing on the door side with just reverse logos and then some of the uh, more paint splatters on it. But when they, even when we compare the two, um, you'll see it's the same casting. Oh, it even has a bent steering wheel. Look at that. That's kind of cool. But you could see these lined up at any monster truck meet. Like they look, just look so good. And it's cool. So when you collect them all, you'll have multiple colors of everything. And then it looks even more realistic when you have a bunch of cars that are different colors side by side. Rather than just one release of the, you know, like a solid color car like this. They just look so much better. And remember, these are no extra added costs. This is technically a free car. And it is an excellent free car. So... Man, I like all these. So let me know in the comments now that we've gotten these open um, that you know the cost, a little bit of the history, and why these are not new for 2023, but we're seeing them again. Um, let me know your thoughts on this line in the comments. Which model is your favorite? I really like all of them. Um, I do like Flat Iron, the wagon as well. Uh, but that one was just blue, like I already have it, so I didn't feel the need to buy it. Um, but if I see it or see some new ones, I will I'll probably pick it up again. So Cool. I love all these. Awesome. These will look great in my collection and in my monster truck dioramas. So, oh, sweet. Well, let me know what you think of these in the comments. I really appreciate you watching. Um, this is Sam from 64 Wheels. Like and subscribe as always. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Lamely Group, Discord, and whatnot. All the links to my other videos I've done in these and unboxings of, of monster trucks and the prior crushed cars that I've unboxed, I will put down in the description. Uh, the same with all my socials, all the links for all that good stuff as well. So uh, like I said, I really appreciate you watching. I will have more videos coming soon. I have so much stuff to unbox, vintage and new. So uh, definitely hit that what is it? The bell, the ring, the bell for the, whatever the notification bell is. And, uh, hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.